got worse. I had to put the camera down because I needed both my hands for the wheel and I don't feel like doing that for 40 miles. Oh no! You know what? I think tomorrow's gonna be a better day for me. So I'm gonna go drop anchor. I'm gonna get some dinner. I got some fish sitting out. Some rice and some veggies. Awesome going zero again. This sucks. I'm gonna be out here all day. Anyway, at least I did something. Yesterday I did nothing by myself. I haven't seen people. I should have maybe stayed a little bit longer in Georgetown. Now, in hindsight, for some reason, I feel the need to go where I want to go when I want to go there. And I just try and make it happen. And I have had mixed results with this technique. I think I'm going back to Georgetown. I have repairs I need to do. Cool people. You know, I don't want to drop my anchor for too long. I really don't. I want to keep moving, but let's get the toilet fixed. That's important. I'm tired of pooping in a bucket. That's the bucket I've been pooping. I'm losing my mind. This. I hate coming in after dark into a place I've never been before. Never a good idea, but here I am sailing into the sunset. At least I'm sailing and I'm out of that anchorage because that was driving me nuts. Cowboy, he would, uh, you know, shoot the bad guys. Uh, the girl at the bar totally into him everybody thinks he's awesome and then he gets on his horse and he rides off into the sunset that doesn't make any sense at all if anything leave in the morning because you can't see it at night you're a cowboy you don't even have a flashlight you get a half mile out of town and you have to stop start a fire cook some pork and beans shit they're gonna see your fire from town it's been a crazy week uh, I've been all over the place. I'm on my way back to Georgetown. I'm in Clarence Town again. I love Clarence Town. It's awesome. I've been hanging out at the Rowdy Boys Bar Restaurant. They're having a big party today. I'll be attending that after I finish my boat chores. I have to fix my mainsail. And what happened was 20 something knots of wind and uh, an error in judge. I uh, heeled over. The boat just pulled right into Straight the wind. into the waves. Fired up the motor. You know, put it on autopilot. Thank God for the autopilot, which is in bad condition. And that's another thing I'm going to take care of when I get to George. Put the reef back in. Double reef. Rolled in my head sail, and continued on about my way. Twenty something knots of wind, and it literally blew the needle out of my hand and overboard somewhere I don't know needle is gone so now I'm using a sewing needle I'm gonna use this little teeny tiny sewing needle I'm gonna tape it with this before I tape it I'm gonna use denatured alcohol to clean the sail so that the tape will fix cuz I've tried to mend it with tape and guess what the tape was gone both sides by the time I got to where I was going. So obviously it didn't hold. So I need to clean it a little better. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm gonna stitch it. Um, so I got my sailor's palm. I got a little thimble to help me try and push it through too because I'm not so sure that this is gonna work since it's just a little tiny needle. And then when I get to Georgetown, I'm gonna talk to somebody who knows better than me and get it fixed right. sale is, uh, it's old it's as old as the boat and this is a 97 and I think that it's on its last leg and I'm not sure it's gonna last me another three years because it tore pretty easy I think I can count on it and I'm not sure what to do about that because they're thousands of dollars and I don't have a job so I've moved my mainsail over to the side so I can stand here and work on it and then I've secured it so it's not moving at all it's windy today a little rolly gonna have to work with it because today is the calmest day I've seen in a long time check this out we're getting into my sails here and look what I found my needle I think the universe was telling me I needed to quit trying to mend my sail in the heavy wind rolly anchorage 
it's hard just to keep your balance and stand in one place. And then to try and sew this for like two hours. And I've gotten pretty far. I'm getting good at this. So if you need your sail mended, don't call me. 20 something knots of wind with a big needle. You can definitely see where I improved with practice and with a lot less wind. Ready for my rant? Don't you think your tape should be sticky? When it ripped in the storm and I put it on blew there. Blew off. Both sides blew off. My rip was way, way bigger. What's it supposed to do? Stick, right? It's got to stick to the sail. I thought, well, maybe my sails were dirty. They had salt, whatever. I used denatured alcohol. I cleaned the crap out I'd of it. I'd be much better off with duct tape. Much better off with duct tape. This is crap. Total crap. One job. Stick over 10 knots multiple times. Ah. The bad news is I'm only halfway up Long Island. I have at least another three hours of this shit. Totally get what people are talking about. The difference between a blue water boat and a coastal cruiser. Something really bad just happened. My mainsail gave out. I'm motoring. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Right now, there's nothing I can do about that. I'll figure it out. Ah, uh, I got my ass handed to me today, man. I got my ass handed to me. My sail is torn. My spirit is broken. I, think I might just spend the night here. I'm, I'm over this. This is the worst day of sailing ever. If you're at all ever suspicious of the integrity of a line on your boat, replace it. I'm gonna try and get this back in the sack. I, I saw the tear. It's massive. I'm gonna cook some dinner and uh, I'm gonna eat and go to bed. All night long, while I was trying to sleep, large crashing waves, really high winds, all night long. I barely slept. I slept a little bit because I was so exhausted. All my things were crashing to the floor. Pretty much the theme of this week and a half. I can't wait to get back to Georgetown, and I don't think I'm gonna sail again for a couple weeks. I think it's gonna be a couple weeks. Oh, and another thing, the wind, appears to be coming from the direction of Georgetown. Isn't that special? Uh, oh, and it was supposed to be like six knots of wind today. This is clearly not six knots of wind. This would be more like 18, it feels like to me. I think I'm hoped. Uh, man, I'm not looking forward to today. Pancakes and eggs. Because you know what? That's what I want for breakfast. And this might be my last meal. So, too dramatic. Actually, all I suspected, it's got to be close to 20 knots out here. You know, yesterday it was supposed to be like 14 knots. Today it was going to drop down to 6 knots. Uh, and it is exactly coming from Georgetown. I was going literally zero knots and I'm at like three quarters of wrong waves are ginormous. Need to wait for a weather window. It's just not happening right now. Alright, I'm on anchor. I have service now on my phone and I just checked. And it is 18 knots of wind. So there's a storm coming right now. Thank God I didn't keep going. It's going to start raining here in about a half hour and it's going to be raining 
on and off for the next day or so from the north. So I could put my head sail up and I can motor sail back to Georgetown on Wednesday if the weather does what it said it's going to do. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but check this out, okay? You ever feel like things happen for a reason? That's a big storm. That is a big, big, scary storm. If I would have went into that, I'd probably quit sailing after what's been happening to me the past week and a half.